Hello guys. What are, what we're going to be doing today? Something a little different. Okay. We're going to be looking at the uh S10 Plus, the Note 9, and which is the best way to charge them? Wireless charging tra traditional and I'm also going to be doing a test on the watch to um, see if it charges better with PowerShare or you can charge the device with PowerShare. So we're going to be going through, you know, key differences. So, let's start. First of all, the Note 9. The, it's signature for the S Pen. See, it's a nice pen. See, tips. So, it's that difference. And with the um, S10, it, it lost, like, features. Right? It cannot do an intelligent iris scan anymore. Because. See, you do it, you turn it on, it's fingerprint now, because it's ultrasonic. It's nice. So, with this device, you do that. And boom, you're in. So, let's start with this device. Wireless power share. Well, wireless power share works best when both devices do not have a cover on them. But, 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 if you um, get your watch and put it in the middle, boom. But, it can be a hassle sometimes. I used to. Boom. See that red light? Right there. Charging. So. What we're going to be doing. See. You could wireless power share. Turn that off. Settings. Let me just throw both phones in uh, settings. Alright. So I'm going to come down here. Alright. Put them side by side. Let me just lower the brightness on them. A little bit. Oh. Okay. Great. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I probably just ruined this video. Okay, anyway, you pretty much get the same thing. Alright. Why didn't I turn that feature off? Okay. Alright. This is how we're doing this. If we go in our settings here, alright. We can go through everything's about. Hey, um, guys, I feel like going ahead, resuming this. Um, here's my watch. I don't know if it'll focus. The only way, in a way, it's on a 54%. So that 54%. All right. Here's the S10. Um, I use my magical fingerprint to get into this. Uh, and the phone is on 55. The phone is on. Uh, 
ก็ดีFocus. Well, anyway, phone is on fifty-five percent. Great, this thing's uh, messing up my view again. All right, turned off. Good. It's been a few hours. Um, need some. I need a little light. A little light causes glare, and I hate that. Okay, I have an idea. It's invert light. Light. Screw it. This is what I'm doing. Alright. So, as we can see, we have a watch. We have this one. Alright. Or Note 9. So, what I'm going to do now is just get. I'm just going, since I can't find my Samsung plug, I'm just going to use the camera from my Canary camera. So, it is currently 3. Alright, I'm going to tell you the time once I plug all of these things in. Alright, ooh. I have a plug. Plug B. So, what I'm... Alright, as you see, it just got really dark. Right. That's because I unplugged everything. So, I can get accurate response. So, for a wireless charger here. Just gonna put that here. And I'm going to take the case off this phone. Well, I know I get accurate result, so less chances of a fail. Let's so see, pin case off. Since this case is a thicker case, as you see, you don't see any lights on the char wireless charger yet. Okay, I'm going to center it. Now, I'm going to get the case and put it on the S10 here. Oh, hi, Bixby. Hi. Okay. Now, I'm going to just get your regular fast charge. A micro USB. Or not US micro USB, but um, USB-C. Turning everything back on. We got a charge here. And we're charging there. Okay, it is currently 326. Okay. So how about we just turn these off and well I'm gonna leave them like this. Oh look. Hi Google Home. So I'm going to use this opportunity to do that. Okay, I did a watch test, though I didn't fully charge the watch because I didn't want to go through all that trouble. But, I did charge the watch. Oh, I did charge the watch up to 54%. It's really blurry now, yay. Though, so, um, so we have our Note 9 wireless charging, or S10 Plus over here, charging normal, you know? Um, let's see how long it is. It was 326, if I remember correctly. So, um, jump to that in a sec. Okay. Um, the phone's at 100% now. Alright, we have that one. 
that one's at 99, but still, probably doesn't make a difference what we sit at here. A hundred percent, and a times 425, it was three something, and that's pretty much it for the uh, phones. Um, I sort of forgot the other test I was going to do. Yeah, I. I, my phones were charged. I. Okay, I was gonna do another test. What was that test? Oh, alright, 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 alright. Alright. So what I want you to do, alright, people in the comments, you want me to see do something with one of these uh, phones? Let me know. A uh, full-on S10 review is going to be coming out soon. Okay. Have that. So I want to test something real quick. The Zia wireless charger work. A, a thick uh, two layer case. Now, uh, let's find out, you know. I have nothing else to do. Okay, put my, put my case on, let's set it down. Charges. Okay, we're sitting at 100% official 427, both at 100%. Strangely, this one, right, this one was the most charged, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, pretty much it. Here's our watch. The, um, I'm thinking about getting me a you know, Galaxy watch. Um, like this video if you want me to get a Galaxy watch. You know, and I'll probably do like an unboxing too, you know, but this is what we're done with. We have this phone, this phone, it's thumbnail time, so we tested on our wireless charger, wired and wireless charger, and we did a comparison too. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Alright, alright, like if you want this video. Making a DIY galaxy flip. <laughs> I can see her. <laughs> just imagine though. Like, just some duct tape. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Set it phone. We good. <laughs> though. You know what? I have one more t test for you. Alright. But I do um, a sin bench, sin bench for you. Let's do that. See when I'm done with sin bench. See, I want to show you something before I initially start or benchmark. This can outperform 90% or 97. 99% on our S10. That's pretty good, I'd say. But, isn't there no alignment for work? Does that mean the S10 Plus is truly the best phone for work? Whoa. Not too much about that. Alright. I'll see you when I actually do test. This right here is just a shot of me starting both tests at the same time, you see? I'm gonna do two slingshot extra. Boom. This one had more response time than this one. So, but we orient, and then see when these tests are done, what are our results? Okay, from what I see here, all right, we have our scores, all right, they're fairly close. Right? Fairly. 
because if we look on our S10 here, we have a 3,000, uh, 5431. And here we have a 4575. And on Vulcan test, we have a 424, uh, 4,247, 4,112. Fairly close. But overall, this one is the be better choice, though since these scores aren't too far, far off, you could probably settle with both phones. Now, with this, though, if you want to be technical, if you're one of those people who play Fortnite, I think you'd want the S10. But here's the thing, you have this camera. It's mid-screen, isn't it? But it, it's almost out of bezel. But... It's not bezel less. This, if you don't like that, get this. You know, that's pretty much what you want. Um, screen size, I'd say. I think it would be about the same. Maybe the S10 gives you a little bit more. Maybe a few more millimeters of screen size. So how about we do the lower end test and see what we get there. Okay. We would run into, we were starting to run into an error. On the Note 9, saying there was an error with the test. Though I think it would have gotten the same score max. Because it says, you know, that it's too powerful. See? Yeah. So, I think that's the end of this comparison. So, uh... Please like and subscribe for more content. Content is going to start getting better. I promise. Bye.